guys welcome to yet another episode we are still continuing with the letters that people have sent to me by email i'll read the stories and try to answer the questions that they ask me in these letters i would also seek your opinions on how they can resolve whatever issues that they have in these letters feel free to send me a story or a letter through the email drdanimeza at gmail.com and then don't add any name to this letter or story that you sent to me all right guys this is a letter that i have for today dear dr dan i am a 22 year old university student in south africa i think i am getting addicted to smartphone even when i'm studying at home or at school i'm not able to resist the temptation to touch my phone and use it this is affecting my academic performance negatively said that i get bad grades in school I become so afraid that I will miss some trending news after a period without using my smartphone. Sometimes when I just want to check for a text message on my phone, I end up spending an hour or more on the phone. By wasting too much time on my smartphone, I'm not able to complete university assignment and I have failed one of my university courses or units even though it was an easy subject. I almost had a car accident recently because I was using my phone while crossing the road. All my attempts to quit the excessive use of my smartphone has failed. I spend very little time with my friends and family due to my excessive use of smartphone. How do I know if I'm suffering from smartphone addiction? How can I overcome smartphone addiction? Many people are suffering from smartphone addiction because we use our phones for almost every activity during the day. Smartphone addiction can definitely affect your academic performance because you tend to spend more time on the phone and reduce your time for learning. Phone addiction can prevent you from spending quality time with your friends and family and thereby affect your relationships. So the question then is how do you know if you are suffering from smartphone addiction? If you show three or more of the following symptoms for three months, then you may be addicted to your phone. Number one, inability or difficulty to resist the urge or the impulse to use your phone. Number two, you wake up multiple times at night to check your phone. The third point is your phone has caused you to have an accident or injury. Number four, using your smartphone for a longer period than you intended. Number five, spending excessive time using a smartphone despite physical and mental health problems resulting from it. Number six, unsuccessful attempts to quit or reduce your smartphone use. Number seven, feeling anxious after a period without using your smartphone. Number eight, your phone use interferes with your job performance, your schoolwork, or your relationships. Number nine, people in your life have expressed concerns about your phone use habit. The second question is how can you overcome smartphone addiction? You can overcome smartphone addiction by using some of the following tips. Number one, remove time consuming apps from your phone. Apps such as WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok must be removed from your phone because we spend a lot of time every day using such apps. Number two, change your settings to eliminate push notifications from the apps on your phone. If you go to the settings part of your phone, you can change the settings such so that notifications from apps such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube would not show on your phone. This can help you to reduce your excessive use of your smartphone. The third point is keep your phone away from your bedroom at night when you are about to sleep. If you keep your phone at your bedroom when you're about to sleep, you are likely to use it excessively and this can make you become addicted to your phone. It is therefore important that you keep your phone away from your bedroom so that you can have a good night's sleep. Number four, turn on your phone's grayscale screen. Switching your phone screen to grayscale can make the screen of the phone less attractive and this may prevent you from using apps on your phone excessively. Number five, consider installing an app on your phone that tracks your smartphone habits. 
Examples of such apps include quality time or moment. These apps will help you to set specific goals on how long you use your smartphone every day and help you to track your progress. Number six, if you feel your smartphone use is having an impact on your mental health, your ability to work, and your relationships, then it may be time to seek professional help from a clinical psychologist. We are all at risk of developing smartphone addiction in this time because we use our smartphones for almost every activity during the day. Let's share this video to help anyone going through a smartphone addiction. Feel free to send a story to my email drdanimeda.gmail.com Let me know your thoughts about how or what this person can do to overcome smartphone addiction. Subscribe to this channel, comment, like and share our videos and let's promote mental health.